You're getting filled up with Ray. Welcome to episode two, Bunny Basics. Bunny Basics, huh? Hi, and welcome back to Getting Felt Up with Ray. I'm your host, Raylene, and in today's episode, we'll be creating our very first project. I'll also be showing you a few basic techniques along the way. In the last episode, Esteban and I showed you all the materials you'll need in order to get started. So if you haven't had a chance to watch it, take a few minutes, go back and watch the first episode, then come back. We'll wait. Hi, you back? Awesome. Did you gather all your materials? I did. I used a coupon. Okay, great. Let's get started. Today, we're going to make this little guy. He's a perfect project for showing you all the basics that you're going to learn today. Esteban has gathered all of our ma- Wait, Esteban, I thought you were going to get the materials. Oh, sorry. Let me go find them. I'm okay. For this project, you'll need pink and white wool. I got them. You'll also need four millimeter craft eyes. Here they are. Well, it looks like Esteban's ready. Are you? Here's the list in case you need it again. The first thing we're going to do is grab a big fluff of white wool. Begin by using your fingertips to roll it into a ball. Pinch the side of it to hold it in place. Next, grab your needle and begin stabbing. This process entangles the wool and the wool begins to hold its shape. As you stab, make sure you're rotating it so that the fibers are entangled all the way around. Notice the unfinished end. We'll need that for attachment later. Every so often, check the density by giving it a little squeeze. The firmer, the better. Once you're satisfied with the shape and density, put it aside and get to work on creating our bunny's body. For the body, we'll need another piece of white wool. Roll it with your fingertips and make it into an elongated oval. Use that for the body. Be sure to tuck in any excess fluff on the ends. Then just start going at it. Every so often I'll grab the head to make sure that it is proportionate to the body. And if it is too small, I'll add more wool until it's the desired size. So let's speed this up. Warp speed, Captain. 10-4. Once I've created the desired size, I'm now ready to attach the head. By spreading out the unfinished end, I will wrap it around the bunny's body and begin needle felting them together. And now I have the bunny's head and the bunny's body. Next, we're ready to move on to the ears. To make the ears, we'll need two more pieces of white wool. Take one of the pieces of fluff and fold it into a thin, long piece. To attach the folds, needle felt it down the center and work outwards. Make small folds along the tips and needle felt at a diagonal angle to create the curvature of the ears. Notice how this piece flattened out as we poked at it a million times. It's okay. All you have to do is just fold it again and continue, and the ear will begin to take shape. These folds will provide some sturdiness, so when attached, the ears will stand tall. Before finishing the ear, poke it in the center to create a groove. This provides depth and detail. We'll fill this part in with pink later. As I lift it from the foam pad, you can see that the fibers have attached to its surface. This makes your project uggles. Before putting the ears to the side, you want to give them a once-over with shallow stabs. Be sure not to penetrate all the way down. Do the same for the other ear. Make sure to compare ears to one another and make sure that the size and shape are symmetrical. Cut off any excess fiber. This will make it easier to attach. Next, take a few snips out of the head. This is where the ears will go. Again, symmetry is really important, so make sure the incisions are equal. To attach the ear, 
needle felt the unfinished end of the ear into the area you made the incision on the head. If it's too long, be sure to trim it to the desired size. At this point, it should begin to start looking like an actual bunny. Here's a tip for making tube shapes. Take a skewer. Today, I'm using a paintbrush. And wrap it around the skewer. Then slowly needle felt the edges and entangle the fibers. After a few stabs, remove the skewer and continue needle felting until you've made your desired shape. Next, take a snip out of each side for the arms. Once the arms are attached to the side, bend them down and needle felt to attach them to its tummy. I think they look cuter this way, but my husband said it makes it look like it's touching itself. Cute or pervy, it's open to interpretation. Take a small piece of wool and attach it to the back of the bunny. This will make a tail. Take a few more pieces of fluff and then start to needle felt them individually. We're going to use these to make the feet. Keep needle felting until you've made small little dense balls. Once they're symmetrical, attach them to the rest of the bunny's body. To give your bunny some color, take a few pieces of pink wool and add them to the ears. Needle felt them into the grooves of the ears that you made earlier. Make sure to go all the way up and all the way down. Add more as you see fit so that the color can really stand out. Take some additional pink and put it right in the center of the head. This is going to be the nose. You can start stabbing it very slowly and then work your way around, making it into a triangular shape. If you concentrate the needle around the edges in particular, you'll notice it starts to define that particular shape. And then the last and final touches are the eyes. I use plastic craft eyes, but if you don't have any, you can use black wool instead. I made two small snips and used the scissors as a way to measure the distance between the eyes. Once I made the cuts, I pushed them in, set them into place, and used some glue to secure them and make sure that they don't fall out. The last thing you want is a one-eyed rabbit. So there it is, your very first project. I hope it came out well. Feel free to leave me a comment and let me know how it turned out. Esteban, do you want to show them your project? No, I'm sure it looks good. No, it can't be that bad. Come on. Come on. Show them your project. It's... It's a nice try. Well, that wraps up this episode of Getting Felt Up with Ray. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you made an adorable little creation of your very own. And I hope it didn't end up like Esteban's. Oh, hey!